Field by Field, Mazex is bringing Canadian seed to farmers across Canada. Mazex is your source for high-performance soybeans and grain, silage, and grazing corn hybrids. Visit mazex.com to find your local Mazex representative. Joining me now is Rob Hannum. He's CEO of the Farm Health Guardian. Hello, Rob. Hello, Lindsay. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. I'm pleased to be here on Real Ag Radio. Mm-hmm. Okay, so exciting news this week. We've got a call out for some pilot project participants, and we are going to delve into uh, who you're looking for or what you're looking for and why. But first, let's start with what or who is Farm Health Guardian? Great. Uh, thanks. Farm Health Guardian, uh, we're a digital biosecurity technology. So we have hardware and software, and we're trying to help livestock producers reduce disease risk. So we improve biosecurity, check their biosecurity compliance. Are they actually following the procedures that they've set out for themselves? Um, and and uh, we launched in 2020. We're based in Ontario, and we've got uh, you know got started in the past couple of years with some customers in in Manitoba, and we're hoping to expand our our technology across Canada. So, you know, I think about biosecurity, certainly I think of hogs, I think of dairy, I think of poultry, uh, but also um, near and dear to my heart, of course, sheep. Um, and But I also think about disease threats that, you know, are perhaps more manageable as far as the traffic coming in and out of my farm, those sorts of things. But then I think about something like avian influenza. And I start to think about just how important um, and how potentially economically important it is to have biosecurity measures in place. So, you know, thinking about how Farm Health Guardian came to be and got together, how large of an issue is biosecurity for our food system? Well, disease risk is the issue and it grows every year. And the species you mentioned, pork, poultry, uh, dairy even now, um, you hear a lot in the news every week about diseases, infectious diseases, disease spread. So avian influenza, we're all aware, and, and it's moved across some different groups, and we're seeing it in, in dairy in the U.S. Um, and certainly it's had a big impact on turkeys and chickens here in Canada. Uh, pork is is our initial focus, and like there's a respiratory disease, PERS, which is, you know, cost millions, hundreds of millions of dollars every single year uh, in terms of losses. If you look at your cost of production, like feed, of course, is your first cost. But if you include the losses due to livestock disease, it's likely the second largest cost to a farm operation or a, uh, you know, an integrated system after feed costs. So if your second largest cost, it's really something to, uh, to look at. It seems to be getting worse. As our farms get larger, they're more connected. There's more trucks or people moving back and forth across these different systems. We're way more integrated than we were 20 years ago. And with that comes the risk of disease spread. So that's really the the problem we're trying to solve. Mm-hmm. Now, specifically, and one of the reasons we're talking today is the call has gone out for some pilot project participants, which is exciting. So what is this project? Um, who are you looking for? What are we trying to put together with this specific project? Yeah, we got started in our business uh, mainly in Manitoba in the swine sector. And a majority of farms in Manitoba are using Farm Health Guardian to help them be more aware of biosecurity compliance, reduce that risk of disease spread between farms. But the next step for us really is to demonstrate that technology in different species groups, in different production systems in other provinces. And every farm is a little bit different. And so it's important to to first start um, and say, okay, what do you need? What are the risks in your unique situation? And how can we adapt the, the technology for you? And that's what the pilot projects are about. So we're seeking you know, 10 to 15 pilot projects uh, across those three groups, pork, poultry, dairy, uh, across Canada. And the ideal candidates for a pilot, Lindsay, would be a group of farms that are working together in a loop or a production system, whether they're under sort of common ownership or just contracted or just working together. That's where we see that risk. They've got, you know, livestock trucks or feed trucks or maintenance trucks that are moving in between or they've got work crews that move from farm to farm to farm, and we can help bring visibility to that uh, and make people more aware um, and then check to see are we complying with the rules, the biosecurity rules we've set for ourselves. 
Now, um, is this just for farms or could this be a feed company or could this, you know, how, how wide uh, of a swath are you cutting for this pilot project? I suppose yeah. the future and this pilot project might look very different. Yeah, great suggestion. The like veterinarians, if you're a vet and you've got common biosecurity protocols across a group of clients, um, that's that's fair game. I think we can help with that. A feed company who wants to check their biosecurity rules that they've set for their customers, are we following the truck wash procedure that we set? Do we follow the right visit order in terms of flock age mm. or down the health pyramid? And with Farm Health Guardian, they could receive an alert if their truck breaches a biosecurity protocol. And that's one of the uh, products we launched this, this year in June uh, is called the breach alert. So if a transport truck or trailer breaches a protocol, the farm owner or the veterinarian get a breach alert. And so they can deal with it in real time. That's one of the things we've found in the past couple of years with Farm Health Guardian. Number one is there's more visits than you think. So oftentimes when I talk to a farmer, the first thing they say is, well, what's digital about biosecurity? And so we talk through that in terms of, yeah, it's a way to manage your 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 biosecurity protocols. You manage everything super well in your operation, your feed costs, your gain, your genetics, and you're using software and Excel spreadsheets to do that. Mm -hmm. But in biosecurity, it's just word of mouth, but text messages. Mm -hmm. So we're giving you a, a software management tool to really understand and, and manage and communicate your biosecurity protocols. The second thing they might say to me is, well, we don't really have many visits. I don't have a lot of risk. And oftentimes when we do, hey, we'll link to the GPS of the different trucks that come to your farm. We'll give you some GPS trackers that go on your vehicles. And, uh, and let's just actually see. And oftentimes it's like, wow, there's way more visits in a week than I ever expected. And then the, the third thing is uh, we often uncover, and not in all cases, but pretty much you know, in, in many, is that the protocols they've set and believe are being followed aren't always carried out in real life. And it could be through maybe, you know, a, a conscious business choice not to follow it that day for a good business reason, or it could be lack of training or just lack of awareness. Right. Um, and so those those three things are usually discovery points, um, how much traffic there really is, and whether your biosecurity protocols are being followed or not. So feed company, livestock company, veterinarian, or group of farms that work together is the ideal candidates for a pilot uh, system. Okay. So, yeah, and that brings up, um, I'm, I'm incredibly practical by nature. And so it really does bring home, you know, because sometimes I think we can talk about a platform or a piece of software or whatever, and we're like, yeah, okay, but... But realistically, to me, this opens up exactly that, as you said, sort of that discovery phase of, you know, some potential fail points in a biosecurity protocol that are actionable, which is so incredibly important. Like these are things that you could potentially manage for in real time uh, with that, right. as you said, like a breach alert or those sorts of things. But I also, to me, in thinking about what a biosecurity protocol looks like, to find, you know, just through going through your daily uh, routine to find those fail points uh, before there's a problem is incredible. Like to me, that's where the value really is. Yeah, strong biosecurity is your lowest cost way to reduce disease risk by far. Uh, and each producer invests somewhat in biosecurity. But if it, you know, it may be under the under the covers or silent or 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 some they just we've done the training we think it's in place but over time people change you know mm -hmm. people fall off the wagon and need to get back on and or we've had cases where um you know the the farmer's paying a premium to their trucking company to do certain procedures wash yeah. the truck every night before you come back or follow this order and say you know at the start best efforts i'm sure to do that but over time some of those practices have fallen out where they're, you know, the customer is still paying a premium for that service and isn't getting it. So mm -hmm. we had an example with a new customer this year, 2024. And when they came on and we, we linked with the truck fleet that that's servicing their farms and they had 12 breaches a week that they had no idea were happening. And now they've been able to reduce that to two or three breaches a week on average. So we've brought awareness of something they didn't even know was happening. 
that they were paying extra for. Mm -hmm. And now um, they through visibility, real time feedback with the drivers or the people involved, uh, they've been able to reduce those breaches down to two to three, which is a huge reduction in risk for yeah. them. A, a disease outbreak and and those those were swine operations, you know, it could be a million dollars for a PERS break in a large sow farm. So yeah. uh, it, big savings there. Yeah, huge. Okay, so for those who are interested, so we've sort of gone over who this might apply to, which is, I mean, I think that's uh, a pretty wide window of, of who might be able to take part in this pilot project. Where can they go for more information if they're interested or if they, they think they may want to participate? Yeah, the best place is to go to our website and learn about our technology. So it's farmhealthguardian.com. Uh, and send us an email. So you can click on the, the website and send a message or the, in, the email address is info, I-N-F-O, at farmhealthguardian.com. So we'd love to hear from veterinarians, trucking firms, groups of producers that work together in a supply chain or a loop or a production system. Uh, and, uh, and we can understand their needs and get started. Okay, sounds great. All right, Rob Hannum with Farm Health Guardian. Thank you so much for joining me here on the show today. Yeah, great. Thanks much, uh, and I really appreciate it.